It's weekend again, everybody, meaning I have to make an Oski video for you guys. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I think we've got this from Boots. What does it mean? Yes, you're right. We're gonna do an MSU urinalysis. Nurse Champions, hello world, it's me again, Nurse Nisa, and welcome back to my channel. MSU urinalysis is one of the skills for demonstration in NMC OSCE exam. You have to do the station within 8 minutes. In this station, the examiner will tell you that the ID check and consent has been done. You just need to perform the skill. You will be given the scenario and the MSU and urinalysis form. Let's do it. So before approaching the patient, I'm just going to gel my hands. Slide backward and forward, swoop from palm to palm, right thumb over the left torso, and vice versa. Fingers interlace, back of the fingers interlock. Rotational rubbing of the thumb, rotational rubbing of the finger clasp, and, and rotational rubbing of the wrist. Let it dry for 30 seconds. Hi, I'm Nurse Isel, and I'm going to be your nurse for today. Hello, nurse. Um, I am here to do an MSU urinalysis in which we're going to collect a urine sample from you. Is that okay? Okay. Um, in this case, do you want me to help you with it or do you want to do it yourself? I can do it by myself. Okay, so if you're going to be doing this, I have here, mm -hmm. I get here this specimen bottle for the urine, okay? And some wipes, okay? So probably in the examination center, you're going to be having a disposable tray, okay? At the moment, I am using a non-disposable tray, okay? You want to do it in the toilet? Yeah. Okay. And for the female patient, ask the patient to part the labia and clean the mianos with soap and water. Make sure to tell them from front to back. If you have a male patient, ask the patient to retract the foreskin and clean the skin surrounding the urethral miatus with soap and water. Nelly, would it be okay if I call you Nelly? Yes. Yeah, okay. Nelly, what I'm going to need you to do is to part the labia and clean the miatus with soap and water, okay? Make sure to do it from front to back, okay. Okay? okay? You have to use separate swab for each wipe and wipe downwards, okay? okay? So what I'm gonna need you to do with this specimen bottle is, well, first thing is you have to void first, urinate uh, for a small amount, then stop, and then catch the midstream urine with this specimen bottle. And then you could continue to urinate in the in the toilet or the bedpan. Is that okay? Make sure you place this specimen bottle a few inches away from the urethra and then urinate until this bottle is approximately half full. Is that okay? All right. Yeah? Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Don't forget the swab right there. Thank you. So before doing that, I'm gonna need you to wash your hands first, okay? Okay. And then transfer the specimen into a sterile universal container. This is the point in which the examiner will hand you over this specimen collected. And then, allow the patient to wash their hands. Then in there, you get to label the specimen bottle with the patient details. Or just a tip, you can do this before even giving the bottle to the patient. Okay? Go. So before doing anything else, I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay. So, first things first, so I'm going to wet my hands. Get some soap with five backward and forward stroke from palm to palm, right palm over the left torso, and vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlock, rotation rubbing of the thumb, and vice versa. Rotation rubbing of the finger clasp, and rotation rubbing of the wrist. Rinse it thoroughly with water and then pack it dry with clean towels. Dispose it in the domestic bin, pack it dry and dispose it accordingly. Assuming that this is a disposable tray, if it's non-disposable tray, then you have to clean it with clean wipes, okay? 
So, Miss Examiner, is this tray disposable? Yes. So, yes. I'm going to use this one. The tray. Assuming that this orange tray is a kidney basin, non-sterile disposable gloves, urine dipstick. Miss Examiner, I can see that this urine dipstick is on date and the expiry date is uh, 30th of the 4th, 2024. Has this been stored according to the manufacturer's recommendation? Yes. This should be stored in a dark, dry place in an airtight container. Midstream sample urine specimen that we collected. Documentation chart, either the old form or the new form. I will show you how to accomplish both of the forms. Absorbent tissue. Point, we're going to be needing our fab watch. I'm gonna wear my apron. Wear my gloves. Nurses, before I start, let me just tell you that once you dip the strip into the urine, that's the start of your time, okay? Remember, when you're doing the urinalysis, the reading should be done on a specific time. If you have to check for glucose after 30 seconds, yeah? As the time continues, when it gets to 40 seconds already, you got to check the ketones. Once it gets to 45 seconds, you have to check for the specific gravity. Now, as we wait for 15 more seconds, which total of 60 seconds, okay, overall with the time, You've got to check four of these. Remember, you get to check the blood, the pH, the protein, and then the nitrates. When you've done that, you have to wait for another minute to check for the leukocytes. Understood? Now, let's start. you are using a disposable tray then dispose it but if you're not using a disposable tray then just clean it with soap and water okay i'm gonna dispose it apron then i'll gel my hands okay You have to complete the documentation, okay? Accurately document on the chart according to the region strip. Now, this is just the old form. The recent one or the new form is like this. 
And this is how you complete this form. We've just finished the documentation. We saw it on the screen. Make sure you complete the documentation, okay? You have to accurately document on the chart according to the strip, okay? According to our result, the patient glucose is very high. That's the only reading that I'm concerned at the moment. Okay, Nelly, I've just got the result of the urinalysis here. So I'm really concerned about your glucose, okay, because it's way too high at the moment. And I will definitely report this to the doctor because there is an abnormality with the result, okay? Right. I will also check for your prescription if you have anything for that, okay? okay. So since there is an abnormality with the result, I need to send the sample to the laboratory, okay? If in any case, there is no significant findings in the result, then you can discard the remaining urine in the sleeves. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation, okay? If you need me, just ring the bell, okay? Thank you. All right, I'm just doing my hands. And then nurses, after the procedure, just wash your hands using the steps of hand washing in accordance to the World Health Organization. Ready and that's it. And just like that, we are now done with our MSU urinalysis. I hope you learned something for today. And if you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to get notified just in case I post more OSCE videos, then hit the notification bell. This has been Nurse Cell. See you on the next one. Bye!